Have you ever wanted to get out of the rat race and pursue what you actually enjoy? I've been fortunate enough to do that with filmmaking and so far it's been amazing. I've got more time to myself than I've ever had before. I've grown more than any previous year in terms of my skills. And I've made some great memories along the way too. Maybe you want to take a similar route yourself or maybe you're just interested in looking at the positives and the negatives of going it alone. Hopefully I can help you out. So let's get into it. So my first positive aspect is freedom. Within reason, of course, you can pretty much do whatever you want, whenever you want. This is one of the biggest perks of the lifestyle and I have to admit, it's one that I'm definitely enjoying the most. Being able to work at times that suit me, making the choice to go full steam ahead with things or being able to take my foot off the gas, I love the fact that that is my choice. Some people really thrive under freedom and some people just fall into bad habits. I would say I kind of fall in the middle of that, but it still beats having a boss. I would say in the last year I've made the most progress in my entire filmmaking career and I'll put that down to a few different reasons. One big reason is naturally having the pressure of knowing that if I don't go out and create good work, I'm not going to make a lot of money. On top of that, you have a lot of free time which you can go out and practice by yourself or you can invest it in learning new things online. As well as learning on my own, I can get in touch with better filmmakers, assist them on shoots and try and pick up some good tips and techniques. So that's been really valuable for me to gain more knowledge of the industry. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that you get in touch with better filmmakers and offer your help, even if it's for free. And I've really tried to make a point of developing my own style. So as I've been filming so much more this year, I think it's becoming more obvious what my kind of style is. And luckily I've had some good feedback from people to say that they can see that in my work too. I feel like I now know the direction that I want my work to go in. So yeah, it's been really cool investing my time into that in the last year. I think the jumping quality has been quite obvious for people to see and also for me to see. I've just finished up my new showreel, so yeah, going back over the last year's footage, comparing it to last time I did it, yeah, it's a big difference and yeah, it's cool to see at the end of the year. So to round all that up, being a freelancer has definitely sped up my development as a filmmaker, and that's definitely another positive. And rolling nicely into the next point, last year I created my best work yet as a filmmaker. I'd like to think that generally I've improved year on year, but you probably couldn't see too much improvement or difference from two years ago, three years ago maybe. But yeah, the last year, all the opportunities to learn, meeting new clients and just working independently, problem solving, all that kind of stuff together has definitely made my work go up another level. So in the last year I've had a range of new clients which have all come with their own unique challenges and luckily most of them have enabled me to have a lot of creative freedom so yeah that's been great. A huge thing that I've learned in the last year is the real importance of getting out there, meeting new people and making new connections when you're a freelancer. People will begin to talk and they recommend you to their friends who are quite often business owners and yeah, it just begins to snowball. So as nice as it is to take it easy and stay inside and relax and just live on your computer, you really do need to get out there and get your face in front of people. One thing that really motivates me is knowing that how hard I work has a direct correlation on how much that I earn. So it really inspires me to not only improve, but just to put the work in. This year I've realized how jobs in agencies and different companies when it comes to film are just completely undervalued. The fact that it's barely above minimum wage considering what we do and how much time we put in to learn this, yeah, I just find pretty crazy. Obviously there's a lot of benefits to being employed and sometimes I do miss that myself, but I have to admit, not having a ceiling on how much I can earn, I do quite like that. So this might actually be one of my favorite perks of being freelance, but it's having more time to do your hobbies. There's a few things that, that includes for me, but mainly going to the gym and keeping fit. So I've always made time for my fitness, but I have to admit, I'm loving it more than ever right now. Being able to schedule my work around it and just generally put more time into it has just been great. We often schedule our passions around our work, but it's a lot nicer doing it the other way around. Obviously that's a very aspirational way of living, but you have to dream big, right? So it'd only be right to talk about some downsides that I found with self-employed life. For me, they don't quite outweigh the positives, but see what you think. So yeah, freedom. Again, it can be really tough sometimes when there's no one there to tell you to get up and go to work. And honestly, it is sometimes way more tempting just to stay in bed. It's a life where you need to be pretty self-motivated to get things done. 
it's always going to help if you love what you do and fortunately that's me i would say throughout the last year it's kind of come in waves sometimes i'm super productive and i get my head down really well and other times i may as well have just had a day off it's hard not to beat myself up for taking it easy sometimes even when that was one of the perks that i was really looking forward to i think basically you just have a decent schedule that you can roughly stick to and remember whatever you put into it is going to be what you get out of it I wouldn't say I've been a massive fan of working from home, but being able to pick my own hours, being able to go and work in a cafe or something like that, I've been able to make it work for me. And with filmmaking, you've always got those days where you're out shooting, so there's always something to look forward to. I will admit I do quite often miss a good office environment, especially if you've got good colleagues, the atmosphere there can be pretty good. Um, so yeah, just try and stay sociable, because if not, it can get a bit lonely. Typically, I work a bit later on in the day. I tend to go to the gym in the middle of the day to break it up a bit, and then I wrap up work about seven or eight. However, I am trying to go back to something that looks a bit more like a normal routine, maybe something closer to a nine to five, but we'll see what happens. Becoming self-employed is obviously a risk financially. On the one hand, you could earn more money than ever, and on the other hand, you could earn basically no money at all. So it's something that you need to consider and something that you definitely can't take lightly. I personally built up my savings to give me a year's expenses just in case. I know some people would feel comfortable doing that with six months, but that's just what felt good for me. I would also say that if you've been in the industry for a while, the chances of you making no money at all are pretty slim. So before going all in on your new business, try and make sure that you don't have any debt Minimize your monthly outgoings if possible, and ideally try and have some good savings behind you too. So for me, I'm still glad that I made the choice. I've had a really good year, but I do understand that I need to keep my head down and keep improving. I wouldn't say that I wouldn't work for a company ever again, but I guess if I don't, I've done pretty well. Thank you for watching as always, I really appreciate it. Hopefully I've been able to describe this journey and help you decide if that's a path that you might want to take. I will see you next time. Cheers.